Did you know that the American burgers you eat, the American wine you drink, the American cigarettes you smoke, they might all involve child labor? Did you know that the United States, which habitually points an accusing finger at others over children's rights issues, is the only country rejecting the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child? Did you know? That more than 150 years after it was abolished in America, slavery still persists in various forms in the shadows of the shining city on a hill. This is Xinhua Commentary, your best window on China's views. I'm Zhang Li in Beijing. In America, you have to be 21 to buy a pack of cigarettes, but children aged 12 or even younger can be found toiling for long hours on tobacco farms. While the work exposes them to serious hazards like nicotine, toxic pesticides, and dangerous machinery, the cigarettes they help produce bring serious money to their employers. Many of those children are victims of human trafficking, and they work in an environment that reminds many of the dreadful days of child slavery. Appallingly, about 500,000 children are estimated to be working in agriculture in the United States. Although that accounts for more than half of work-related deaths among children, the U.S. government has failed to act. More appallingly, child labor is just the tip of the iceberg, the most obvious part of all the human rights abuses happening in America. Washington depicts itself as a beacon of human rights. But ironically, of the 190 international labor conventions, it has only ratified 14. Of the eight core pacts, it has only ratified two. Forced labor is so prevalent in America that on any given day in 2016, about 400,000 people lived in conditions of modern-day slavery. Large numbers of forced laborers were trapped in sweatshops behind barbed wire. And armed guards, overworked and underpaid. From cotton farms to construction sites, slavery has never really ended in America. From massacring Native Americans to bombing foreign civilians, the United States has never lived up to its touted reputation as a human rights leader. From hunting whistleblowers to sanctioning ICC prosecutors. Washington has never showed mercy to anyone trying to expose its human rights crimes. Well, that makes me think: Why is the super abuser so enthusiastic about using human rights as a weapon against others? This has been Asian for commentary.